Welcome back everyone to Catherine's Plates where it's always simple, easy, and delicious in my kitchen. Now in keeping with my theme, it's fall y'all, I'm going to show you how to make a pumpkin caramel butter bar. Talk about ooey, gooey, warm flavors on almost like a cookie crust. Okay guys, this one is so simple, you may not even see it happen. <laughs> so grab your pumpkin, some caramel, Let's put this one together. Okay, so there's two parts to this. There's going to be the delicious pumpkin mixture, and then there's going to be like the cookie bar. So we're going to start with the mixture first, and you're just going to need half a cup of pumpkin puree. Now, don't confuse this with the pumpkin pie mix that you can get. That's got everything already in it. So just half a cup, and we're just going to put this into a medium bowl. There we go. Gosh, that pumpkin smells good. I want to put it in everything. <laughs> okay, now what we're going to do is add our caramel. Now, I have a 12 ounce jar of caramel sauce that's going to go in. Now, if you want to make your own caramel sauce, you can certainly put that in there also. Just put 12 ounces in there. Okay, we're going to season this up with some pumpkin spice. There's a lot of good flavors in here, you guys. We're going to do half a teaspoon. Okay, we're going to whisk this together. Oh my goodness, that smells so good. Okay, after we mix this all together, we're going to set this aside and let's start making the butter cookie part of this recipe. So I've preheated my oven to 325 degrees. Now in a large stand mixer bowl, I have two cups of softened butter. Yes, two cups. These are butter bars. <laughs> Don't be afraid of these, you guys. To that, I'm going to add one cup of granulated white sugar. And then I'm going to add one and a half cups of some powdered sugar. Okay, we're gonna put this on low and we're going to mix this together until it's nice and creamy for about three minutes. About halfway through, just kind of push down the sides. At this point, you can go up a notch and put this on medium speed. Okay, so now what we're going to do is add four cups of flour. Now, you can add this all at once if you have a flour guard, or you can just add them one cup at a time and just get it started. I'm going to add my last cup here. Now this was all-purpose flour. There we go. Now we're going to finish mixing this up and it should look like a nice soft ball of dough when we're done. Okay, now we have a nice good cookie form dough in here. That's really good. So I got my oven preheating at 325 degrees. Now I've got a 9 by 13 baking dish here and I'm just going to spray. Now I'm going to take half of this dough right here and we're going to form it down on the bottom of our baking dish. Now we want a thin layer down there, not too thick. So just keep pressing until we get an even amount down there. Oh, 
Okay, I think we got it. <laughs> Just like that there. We're gonna go ahead now and pre-cook our cookie crust here in our preheated oven at 325 degrees for 25 minutes. We're looking for a nice light golden color on this and then we wanna make sure that that dough is not shiny when we pull it out. Okay guys, I'll be back. Okay, now I've pulled this out of the oven and I have allowed it to rest for about 10 minutes and what that does is kind of makes that crust all pull together and makes it firmer. So what we're gonna do now is take our caramel pumpkin sauce here and pour it on top. And then we're gonna evenly spread it over the cookie bar here. Well, if you know my house, you know who likes the edge pieces. <laughs> so make sure there's plenty of that on the edges. Now remember we used half of that dough to make the crust on the bottom here. So let me show you what we're gonna do with the other half. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just taking a big fork here and I'm just kind of breaking up the dough here, the cookie dough. Now just take some and we're just gonna spread it all over the pumpkin caramel mixture here. So just break it up as you go. Nuts. <laughs> all right, we're gonna put some pecans and sprue them all over the crust here. Cause you know, this is fall. Put the pecans, put your walnuts, whatever you want to put on here. These will bake into the crust here on the top. All right, we're gonna place this back in our oven that's on 325 degrees for another 25 minutes. Guys, I'll be back. Okay, look at that, you guys. That triple layer, mmm, pumpkin caramel butter bars. All right, let's check this out. Mmm, mmm, oh my gosh, that caramel pumpkin in with that butter cookie this is amazing you saw how easy that was to make okay <clears throat> that is so good that kind of cookie on the bottom and on the top as a crumble oh my gosh it is so delicious go check out my other pumpkin and other apple recipes that i have down in my description box down below okay guys i will see you on my next episode